Hey Saxons, welcome back to school and welcome back to Finn. Did you know that November is National Native American Heritage Month? The settling of America seems like a long time ago, and you probably know by now that this was not an empty new world when settlers arrived. Instead, this country was inhabited at the time by millions of indigenous people whose traditional territories spanned the entire continent. In honor of National Native American Heritage Month, Finn will be starting November broadcast with something called a land acknowledgement. You might be wondering what a land acknowledgement is. A land acknowledgement is a short statement that promotes social and racial justice and honors Native histories. The language of Ferris's land acknowledgement was developed by the Spokane tribe. Thank you to the Ferris CTE and Art Developments for delivering this week's land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that we are on the unceded lands of the Spokane tribe. The Spokane people shared this place with other tribes through their relations, resources, history, trade, and ceremony. We thank the caretakers of this land who lived and continue to live here since time immemorial. This land holds the knowledge, culture, and spirit of the people of the river. Please help the homeless population survive the approaching cold by donating to the Red Blessings Under the Bridge Barrel, which is located in the main lobby. Needed items include socks, blankets, sleeping bags, and all warm clothing and shoes. A camera was lost about a week ago in Victory Plaza. The camera would have been in a bag that looks like this, and the photo lab and yearbook classes really need it back. If you have seen this camera or have any information about it, please drop it off in room M511 or contact Mr. Cox. Congratulations to our seniors, Amelia Crooks and Eller Mu Lang, our 2022 WSU Regents Scholarship nominees. Both win a $16,000 academic scholarship to WSU and are now competing for a four-year full tuition scholarship. Way to go, Amelia and Eller Mu. Remember that today is a 1-2-3 day with early release at noon. Tomorrow will go 4, 5, and 6th period with early release at noon. On Thursday and Friday, students will begin their day in advisory. Remember to go to advisory first on Thursday and Friday. Make sure to follow at Ferris Saxons on Instagram for school spirit photos and student announcements. There is an archery club meeting in there is an archery club meeting Tuesday, 1210 in the Ox Gym. But most other club meetings are canceled this week due to early release and conferences. If you are not sure what is happening with your group, check in with your club's advisor. Did you know that Spanish classes have been celebrating Dia de los Muertos, known as the Day of the Dead? Here is a short look into Dia de los Muertos in honor of its final day today, November 2nd. So Day of the Dead is a way for those of us in the Spanish-speaking world to honor our dead. Um, and every country kind of has its own way of doing that, some more uh, colorful, like in Mexico, than others, but it's really just a way to honor our ancestors. Uh, I celebrate it. I go to my grandmother's every year on the Day of the Dead, and we set up pictures of late family members that have passed away, and we eat food, and we light candles, and we say prayers. The traditions that we do on the Dia de Muertos are just to honor the people who have passed in their souls because they come to visit us on those days and that's why we leave gifts as well because then they can take them to the afterlife with them. One of my favorite facts about Day of the Dead is that yellow is actually the color of death. The Aztecs believed that yellow was the color for death so we actually cover, you will see, um, our graves and our altars with marigolds which are kind of the yellowish orange. Dia de los Muertos is very different from Halloween. Dia de los Muertos is um, a celebration for like your ancestors or like any of your family members that have passed away. And it's very sentimental to everyone of the heritage. So yeah, it's not Halloween. <laughs> Completely different concepts. I think it's really useful to understand like cultures all over the world because then eventually you can understand more about yourself and more about your community and how we've grown. Hey seniors, come meet Mrs. Hilson Baker in the College and Career Center. She is a fantastic resource for seniors looking for scholarships, working on FAFSA, applying for college and even some job opportunities. Senior photos were due yesterday, November 1st, 2021, but yearbook will still accept your photo through December 1st. If you have not yet submitted your yearbook photo, you can submit them through Pictavo by turning in a hard copy to Mr. Cox's box in the public office or by emailing Mr. Cox and attaching your photo. 
And now on to sports news. If you are interested in being a yell leader or the chicken mascot for rubber chicken this year, today is the last day to submit your application to miss shoots in the public office. There is a varsity volleyball playoff game Thursday, November 4th at Mead. Come out and support your Ferris volleyball players. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, healthy, and three feet away. Stay tuned for the post show about Ferris Preschool. So for preschool days, students come in um, the side door and they put their little backpacks in the cubby and they go put their name on our attendance sheet so that tells us we're there, they're here. And then they get to play in different learning centers. So we have different, we have dramatic play center and art center, we have um, block center, we have a lot of different centers. So we do circle time where we talk about the weather and what day it is, we read a story together, we do our circle time songs and then we move into a lesson. During snack time, we transition into third period and then we do it all over again. <laughs> My favorite part of the preschool, I love little kids, obviously, that's part of the reason I want to teach early childhood ed, so that's kind of speaks for itself, but it's really fun to see teenagers get a chance to practice being teachers and to watch them really step up and listen to their conversations with kids and hear them learn, so, like hear them use some of the concepts that we've talked about in class and strategies for guidance or discipline and just have them walk little preschoolers through it in such like a positive way um, is really exciting for my heart to see them use our uh, classroom in a practical way.